Well, it's Cords and Coffee, and this is kind of a special one. Recently, we had Taj Ferentz, who is an incredible guitar player, blues guitar player from the down under part of the world. And this kid is only 13. So just imagine how just unbelievably awesome he's gonna be as he continues to pursue this path. So we were really lucky enough to have him come visit the store, and there's a cool, probably a historical moment in his life because he just came into possession of a really cool guitar, and you'll see all about that here in a second. But this is Taj Ferrant, and we're going through what he uh, plays live with and just asking some other questions about being a musician and being out there on the road doing the deal. So here he is. Well, hey everybody, it's Chords and Coffee on location in Springfield, Missouri at the Riff with the incredible Taj Ferrant. This guy came into the store today with Dad. This is Brandon. And um, you're an incredible guitar player. And how old are you? I'm 13 now. 13 years old. You've been playing forever. Uh, yeah, seven <laughs> years now. Seven years. So Chords and... Technically half his life now, right? Exactly, half his life. So... Chords and Coffee is a show where we talk about learning guitar and starting anytime is the right time to start. And frequently we have discussed how you can learn something from somebody that's younger. Absolutely. Right. And in I this case, I day. promise you, I'm about to learn a ton from this awesome guitar player. And you're a great kid. Thank you. Which makes you a great dad. Thank you. And so I want to talk about that on the show today. But first things first, we play guitar here. We're interested in gear. Let's just talk about this cool guitar here. Yeah. You want to tell the story of this? Um, so I did a show and an um, uh, older couple, they were fans, and they come up and they were like, I bought this for 250 bucks at a garage sale. Do you remember what year by any chance? Uh, it's a 71 it's, to 76. 71 to 76. Sure. We're but just trying to, we've, we've done a bit of a serial check and we've only had it two days, so we're sort of just doing a little bit more research on it. But I know it's like mid 70s ish i think so was that garage sale in the 70s or was this like much much it was down the road? it was actually uh, as far as i know like the couple said that they yeah they bought it for about 250 dollars and it was about 35 years ago they purchased it okay, so okay. well where it would maybe have been 10 to 20 years old at that stage yeah um yeah 250 dollars they scored it for it just became like a, a piece that was like talked about and like that sort of stuff with the family and yeah he played a little bit, bit of a novice, and he's just like, you know, it's something that, um, you know, I just see better off in this kid's hands, you know, the, the iconicness that, you know, Taj has got some really special guitars, and he just, yeah, kind of felt that it was better in Taj's hands than his, and as a father, I couldn't be more grateful for one, but two, like, the generosity that there's still really good people out there. Yes. You know, yeah. and they respect the industry so much still, that they wanted to see it be used. And I think it came basically down to when Taj saw it, they asked if he could sign it. Yeah. And then um, he goes, well, no problem, I'll go to sign it. And then um, he goes, would you mind if I played it on stage for one song tonight? Just, yeah. you know, and um, long story short, the gentleman come up at the end of it and he goes, I've never made that guitar sound like that. He goes, and it should belong to him, not me. And wow. that's, that's, how, that's how it came about and it's, um, such a special instrument um you know i actually had the same guitar nelly down to the same specs uh, and it was a guitar that my grandfather bought me and um i actually unfortunately had to sell it to pay for the very first tour because i didn't have enough money at the time and i knew wow. that it was the time to do it and when i got back to australia i offered the gentleman the money back for it and he didn't want to part with it which is fair enough like sure. yeah. you know you get yourself something like this and i mean i was devastated as you could imagine but um you know I think the way that this story came about, it just be, has come full circle that like yeah. I didn't get mine back, but he got something really special still. And I yeah. think the good karma and the good energy from us just doing everything organically with the kids and just letting them be who they are, the world kind of swung back our way. And, you know, he still owns one that's as close as it's ever going to come to the one that I had. So um, I couldn't be more grateful, man. And I, I can't wait for everyone to hear him play. I love tonight. that. And yeah. I, I love, like, like look, I've, I've been in the guitar business for a while now yeah and lived i mean i have my own story how i got this telecaster and the guy holding the camera we have a telecaster connective story that's alec back there but um i i love that you know what yeah. i mean and what's really cool is is that you guys are watching this and so you just got this and so uh, yeah this is like this new chapter of with this and every time it. i feel like i get a new guitar i feel like it's a sword for a new quest 
Yeah, and you know I think saying? I think you know the top players, and I truly, truly believe this. Like I would never class myself as a top player or anything. That's not sort of where I'm coming from. But in Taj's case, and your players like Stevie and Gary Moore and players like that, mm-hmm. certain instruments make them do incredible things. Yeah. And you hear different tones that I could not get out of a guitar like this. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's just really exciting for me as a parent and somebody that's helped teach Taj along this journey to be able to think what music he may write with it in the next 12 months. And, you know, we're about to finish his album. Um, There's four songs left on the, out of the 12, like eight are recorded. We've got four left to do. was it meant to be? Was it like, will will the next four be all written on this, or will yeah. there just will there be an iconic song that's written written out of this? Like, you know what I mean? I think it's just you just never know what path you're on, and it's just you got to hold on and just take the ride, you know? That's awesome. It's that's true. awesome. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, man, can we hear like a little clean, a little dirty on this thing? Go ahead. Okay. I use this word a lot. It's tasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just got that tasty warmthness about yeah. it. That, you know, those original pickups and things like that, you know, it becomes like the Holy Grail type pickups, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know what's in it. We haven't gone that deep with so it So you yet, haven't, like, done anything to I it. I literally changed the strings on it. Yeah, because I feel like those strings were, like, from... Yeah, 1902. Yeah, 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 I, I was yeah. like, I can only play Frank Sinatra on these strings. That's how old they are. <laughs> just... Yeah, so it's I did the, the, the light service basically yeah, yeah. to make it yeah. playable for tonight. Straight. And now we had to get a new like um, toggle switch thingy. Yeah, well, the boys yeah. hooked us up at your at your store today. Oh, nice. Um, it yeah. had an original like white, like the ivory white. Yeah. Um, but it cracked on the side, and as he's gone to flick it at it the show, it <laughs> side snapped off. So it was hanging on, and I didn't want it to just hang on during the show. So we replaced it. I did keep the original part because I'm a stickler sure, like that. Yeah. I just yeah. whether it ever makes it back on there, I just I just something you put in yeah. the little spare parts kit. You know, I think That's awesome. anyone that really respects music like or instruments in general like you know it's part of uh, the story absolutely yeah. yeah so let's hear that middle position and the bridge position and maybe go through some dirty stuff here in a second all right It's got a transition that's yeah. like not quite as warm as a Les Paul. Yeah, because it's like very. It's yeah. like a Les Paul on that. Yeah. But then you get a very like it's almost like the neck pickup on the telly. Yeah. yeah. It's got a bit of a twang to it. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's hear yeah. the bridge. This will be very bright. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Let's throw a little dirt on there so we can hear what that's supposed to do there. That sounds awesome. Okay, yeah. so while we're talking about dirt, let's just run through this pedal board really quick. Yeah. So I see you're using an effects loop down here. I'm, uh, assu- yeah. I'm assuming that's for like all the time based stuff. Yeah, so actually, Dave. Yeah. Friedman um, put this board together like and shipped the parts to me and I had to learn on the fly how to assemble it <laughs> awesome. uh, which is cool because I'm obviously not a guitar tech or a pedal board builder but I basically got the gist of it it goes through the Friedman buffer bay so it um, like gets rid of our background like noise background yeah. noise and really cleans the signal up great you know yeah. and um, and it has the Friedman power supply system in there which allows you to be able to feed yep. everything through correctly and uh, all the pedals get even amount of power um, He's had the DD500 boss for probably nearly five years now. It's his mm-hmm. go-to. He can program. To... He can program bank up, bank down. You can see this says surfing. So that's surfing with the aliens by Joe Satriani. Nice. When he plays that, everything's already pre-programmed. That sort of stuff. Yeah. So how do you, how many different delays do you use? Is it kind of a set it and forget it kind of thing? Uh, or... I normally just run it on that because it kind of 
because you got a tap tempo there, so you can change oh, okay. it. Yeah, but Perfect. it does and have the option for like... And then you've got like no like, words, yeah, yeah. and then you just bank up. I was just curious, like, yeah. I mean, that, that's, yeah. that's perfect. I see you got a purple ring. Yeah, so you have, yeah. like, yeah. shimmers. So oh, cool. Shimmers yeah, yeah, so yeah, so yeah. You yeah, can, yeah. You can nice. add all that. Yeah. Um, super chorus, so iconic. Yeah, you know, yeah, sure. like, it just gives yeah. him that, you know, he's tried a few choruses, mm -hmm. um, and... Can it, we hear that? What, yeah. Is it like a... Like a Police chorus, or it's like a. Like, it's more like purple rain. Yeah, I got so they do like your intro, like just your. Gotcha. Lush kind of eighties thing, it's right? Just got that. Yeah. But yeah. then when you when you're hanging on like things like your Zach Wild, like farewell ballad, mm -hmm. that sort of stuff yeah. in this river, they're the mm -hmm. sort of so that you can just run the BOD over the top of it and just let it eat. So yeah, it's yeah, yeah. A, it is actually a really fun pedal and I think it's being just analog without all the bells and whistles that they're adding to mm -hmm. so many things these days like Taz just loves simple yeah what works no, I get that. if it ain't broke yeah. don't fix it type thing right. you know um Strymon Blue Sky Reverb I can't even talk any better about another reverb pedal yeah, yeah. it's like just a, an amazing pedal it was the second reverb we tried mm -hmm. um he did have a boss he had um Actually, I think we had a Next Industry one as well, which was a. They were all great pedals in their own right. But I felt like that was. But the Strymon the made the board permanently. It is seems to be. Is this always on, or is this something? Uh, well, for uh, it's, it's not on heaps. It's just like a little, a little bit after. Mm -hmm. So on like a. Lady. And, and, it's, and it sounds like you're using kind of um, instead of like a huge gargantuan, it's like more like a medium sized room. And it's kind of a little compressed as well, yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. like shortened and it's not. Uh, but it has all these beautiful options to like sure. stretch it, and, and yeah. it does. Like some places you need it; they're so dense in there that you need that stretch on the. Yeah, because you know, then you have you just want a little bit of. A... You know what's cool is that that a reverb like that is almost like in that slapback territory. So it has kind Absolutely. of like that Sun Studios. Yeah, it comes like oh, yeah. Memphis thing. Yeah. You know Absolutely. What I mean? yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But normally I have a little bit more running. I think it's been bumped, mm -hmm. but yeah. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so then, of course, hey, Tube Screamer, man. So yeah. he's, that's probably the fifth. the fifth one he's had. Um, TSA USA has mm -hmm. been very kind to us and broken every single one that we've travelled with so far. <laughs> and they, they broke leave, the knob on this, and they literally, leave, when we got here. Yeah, they snapped this one off on the way here, which is the okay. base, so we had to, like, get a flathead screwdriver and sort of adjust it where it needed to be, and now it's, like, set and forget. It's all good now. Um, I, by the way, I hope you heard the positive outlook coming out of this crew. <laughs> I was like, it's all good? No, you we just... forget? Yeah, yeah, yeah like one, Once we get it yeah. dialed in, it's kind of like... Well, I mean towards TSA. Oh, TSA. Yeah. Look, you know, it yeah. is what it is. Like, yeah, yeah. everyone has a job to do, yeah. so we understand that. Like, we're, we're just, um, like I said, you and I have spoken a lot over the last couple of hours, and we're just super grateful for Taj to do what he loves to do on a daily basis. So you can't sweat the small stuff, my mum always told me, you know. And, yeah. and these are things that are so small. Like, Dave and Friedman are so good to us that, like, if I ask for that to be fixed, it will be fixed. So yeah. once we get to LA and we head down to NAM like, later in the month, um, you know, things like that can be fixed. And at the moment, it's working, and we're, you know, there's no complaints. He's about to play a massive show tonight, so. These are really good people, and I hope that you're watching this. You go download everything this young man has ever recorded and put out Thank online, you. as well as buy the shirts, buy the merch. And anyway, back to the pedals. I'll say you're good people again here in a second. So, uh, this, as you can see, has copped yep. an absolute hide and over the last um five years so this yeah. is the BEOD Friedman how do you know where the base is set do you have to kind of... um yeah so like yeah. it I I knew that it was nearly at 12 o'clock and when it got snapped off you could hear how thin it was got it um so like I said we had to get the sort of screwdriver in there and get it kind of where we needed to <laughs> but it kind go. of in a way yeah. it's helped me because it, I was always chasing you know you put it back in the bag you pull it out you go back mm. and then I got to a point where I was like taking photos of things because yeah. I needed the settings to be remindful because he's not going to be able to do all of it and right. rehearse and stuff so I snapped um, the knob on the B uh, the BD yeah, that the one got yeah, I noticed that I didn't we, know if that was intentional yep. you just stuck no, that that's yeah. so that was taken yeah. off a spare pedal that we had here which was like a um, GHS or no no, it was actually on a um, fuzz. 
uh, some fuzz pedal that we got given to us um, a few years ago back at NAM, which yeah. he still uses a lot. But um, you know, sometimes if it didn't make the board for this tour, then it's it's parts at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah. Dave Friedman, like I said, I can't speak more highly of anyone. Like, he's been amazing. He's had Taj since he was nine, nearly ten years old. Wow. Um, and you can see Taj runs all the Friedman heads and um, pedals and custom-built pedal boards. Um, but he used this, and it just allowed him to, like, use a 20-watt head instead of having to take so much right. on the road. It's got a lot of headroom in yeah, there, so it, you can, like, have it really dirty, and then it can be really oh, yeah. clean. Yeah, and it cleans up crushing. really well, yeah, yeah. you know, like... Um, so, That's yeah, awesome. there's that. Then we go into Tone of the Gods, which is a pedal, right? a, a pedal that Taj has been working on at the moment. And I'll show you a little something if you want to roll your volume off. Yeah. So oh. Taj is a huge, huge Marvel and DC fan. So he mm. wanted this to look like Thanos's glove. It's a bit loud. Oh. Sorry. But yeah. But yeah, so if you see the colour patterns, which is like Thanos. Thanos is um, a Oh, dude. Yeah, I, so I, 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 it's I am such a, a cool, huge Marvel fan. Like yeah. the, um, look. And like he's a god in like right, the right, show. Right. So like it's just like being able to be a kid still and design something around. Maybe other kids might like that feature. Adults mm. might not, mm. but there might be people that are geeky like maybe myself and maybe even yourself that love that stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, and I'm... we love to watch it with our kids, right? Right, so right. I'm... I'd use it. You right. Know? And why wouldn't you go Infinity or Tone or in the Infinity Tonelet? I'm trying, yeah, yeah. To say that's it. Yeah, and, yeah, that's, yeah. and that's the best tonelet. Part, <laughs> right. of, part about it. Yeah, so, yeah. Gauntlet of Gods. No. Gauntlet of Tone. Yeah, that could be something. Tone gauntlet. That's it, the tone gauntlet. It could be. Uh, but yeah, so we're working with uh, a new New Zealand-based company at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, he's been amazing because Taj is really funny. He just goes, yeah, I don't like it. And it's super brutal honest. <laughs> but it's Wonder come where he back gets and, that from. I know, right? <laughs> um, it's come back and forth now about three or four times. This company's been amazing. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's nearly there. Mm -hmm. um, it's nearly there. It's just about tweaking a few more things. Taj's, Taj's tone is just, like I always say, it's like very similar to Gary Moore's, mm -hmm. but it's got that Stevie twang to it on the rhythm section and stuff. And obviously, you know, depending on what guitar he's using. Mm -hmm. So he really likes this at the moment through the humbuckers, but through the single coils, he finds it's a little hot in some sections. So it's just about sort of whether they can teach him as well what settings would get that please like how yeah. would please his ear a little bit more on what settings it might be fine but at the moment we're just going through it and we're riding the wave and it's been used a lot for the rhythm section and stuff like that but when it's go time that BOD is hard to take off the pedal board I'd say yeah us, that's you awesome know. and we got a wah we got a uh, we got like a probably a solo boost is what this is yeah, yeah. so this wah here um, it's actually signed by Orianthi when they play together oh, cool. and he ripped it off the board and he's like Ori can you sign my wah and then they sent us a whole heap of new ones. Mm -hmm. um, and that one, that was I just felt on played a bit mm -hmm. better though. Yeah, but he goes, this one's kind of like, I've used it for so long, it kind of mm -hmm. fits. So it's still signed and it's on the board still. Um, uh, but, but it's a New Zealand based another company. Another New Zealand based well. company, cool. um, Shelley and Whalen um, mm -hmm. from McPherson. Um, they're same thing. They were the first people to ever entrust, like gifting Taj some pedals to try and mm -hmm. give him more expression with his playing because like you know at the earlier stage I didn't have the money to buy Friedman heads or anything like that I was just working so much and every time he chose a guitar it'd be three grand and I'm like all right 20 more Saturdays and you can have that you know what I mean like you know 20 you, more Saturdays you know what I mean awesome. you throw the extra Saturday yeah. into and you yeah. put that money aside and you, you'd invest in your child that way but um like I said man like these people reaching out at such an early age, I think Shelly and Waylon have been on board from about eight before his channel was even really anything. He was only getting the odd viral video here or there and it was never about how many views they got him. It was more about like, we just want to see him succeed. That's awesome. So for me, they're the brands that I work with with Taj on a daily basis. Like, you know, the people that take him and into the family. And that's been used in pretty much every video. So that's, that's been on Ellen. That's, awesome. that's been oh, on that's Ellen, been on AGT, Ellen. Santana, Kiss. Orianthi, Matchbox 20, every major event that was the the wah. So it's um like I said, it's super iconic to Taj and his tone. It's got a really heavy sweep on it, uh, but um, it's super and it's sensitive. Got, um, things on the it's got a, a knobs like on the side on of the it side. so you yeah. can change yeah. the volume if you want more. Like yeah, it's more actually even got like more boost, yeah. but That's it also cool. has a section on there that you can shorten the sweep or lengthen it. 
Does that make sense? So it's like it's like the really sensitive. Frequency. Yeah. So yeah, like yeah. you've got yeah. you you've like you know you open it right up and it's really got that pitchy sort of thinness and then you know when it's got that really tight but really big bottom end on it. So yeah, um, yeah like I said, Shelley and Waylon, man, I can't. I, yeah, they're just amazing people, and every every now and then they go, "Is it broken? Does he need it fixed?" I'm like, "He flogs it, and you've built a great product. It's still riding." So that's awesome. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, man, this is chords and coffee, and there's somebody watching this right now that is learning guitar. Do you remember like one of the first things that you learned that like like you felt like the spark, especially like a blues thing where you were like sort of like I hear what sounds like might be my voice off in the distance does that make sense like one of the first things that you learned to play that was like this is a big deal and I know it is and I'm probably going to play this lick or this little um, riff probably, or whatever for the rest of my it life it was that first it was the first time I actually still heard still got the blues yeah, when yeah, I, yeah. Let, it, like, let it eat so they yeah, 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 yeah. like, and the moment <laughs> And we okay on time? Yeah. Okay, that right there. So Gary Moore, right? Yeah. And if you haven't heard the original Gary Moore version, well, you got to go check that out. Absolutely. And then check out Taj playing it. So that right there, real quick, you're playing with this thick tone, and then you very, like, perfectly turn down the volume to clean it up. Could you just, like, walk them through that really quick? Because that in itself is a lesson, just being Absolutely. able to play that big and then turn the tone down. So let me ask you this to clarify. Bring that tone right back up, and when you do, I'll, I might ask you. Okay, show me that again, so that we can like I want because I want we talk about this yeah. all the time. Yeah, with, like being able to dial in a clean tone with just a volume knob. So yeah, one more time. <laughs> one pinky because um, it, it feels like you're using your pinky as a unit of measure yeah you know I, I mean? kind of it's like yeah. I kind of get to hear and as soon as I kind of see the three in line with my face yeah 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 uh, it's like so it's it's the, the three on the volume knob yeah, is like yeah. that's clean I, I know that, it sounds maybe like too ultra simple but that's actually a big deal to be able to do absolutely, that absolutely yeah, yeah. that's what I was referring to about yeah. why it's hard to take the Friedman pedal off the board as the main drive stage because mm -hmm. When Dave built a pedal that a three's a three and an eight's an eight and a ten's a right. ten, that is really hard to replicate. There's only been a couple a of pedals that have done that, like the Klon and yeah, the Klon and the Jetta, maybe a few yeah. things like Something that. Something that feels like an amp. Well, the thing is, yeah. like you, yeah. you can plug you can plug it into basically anything, and it and just it sounds... makes it sound. Yeah. yeah. Excuse my language, badass, right? Yeah. Like, you know, it's <laughs> right, just like right, you do it, right. and you're like, yeah. is this for real? Like, right, right. Uh, but yeah, like yeah. that's what Taj is, I guess, the lesson mm -hmm. that, like, you know, we sort of, he didn't really understand the volume control. Mm -hmm. So, volume control for him has been one of the biggest things that we talk about every day um, with him performing. So, well, I, I love know. the fact that you're 13, yes, but you're already just an incredible player. Uh, and I love the fact that just the mindset of the culture in this camp is like, no, man, we're, we're still learning. and we're Absolutely. And, yeah. Like, Taj is so far from, you know, this is something that, like, I don't talk about a lot, but so many people, like, write articles and magazines and that, and they, go, they, they use the word prodigy, and he can't stand it. Because he goes, I don't want to be pigeonholed as like, oh, I was a child prodigy. He goes, like, I just want people to respect that I'm a great player, regardless of my age. Right. Um, and I've still got so much to learn. And sometimes they can put you in such a high category that, you know, that's a lot of pressure. So we talk about it all the time. Like, it's okay for them to say that you're a prodigy and use that analogy you don't have to go along with it you just do you that's it you just you're not in a competition with anybody that's awesome yeah. so real quick we learned a little thing like volume control makes a huge difference but also we t i love i love i love just hearing that growth mindset 
yeah, in, well, in the camp, and I love it. And we've the, we are uh, just about out of time here, but and I want to cut you off, but I also want to say you're a great dad. Thank you. And how much that you are like creating an environment for you to still be a kid, but to also be a kid who's a great player. And the fact that you're doing this family, it's awesome. I mean, you got all this family out here, Cords and Coffee family. I sure would appreciate it if you could support this family. Listen to Taj's music. Got an album coming out. Stay tuned for that. You heard it first about this cool guitar. Go on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Subscribe to all that stuff. Come along for the journey. Be with this family. God bless you guys so much. Thank, Thank you for you so being a part of this. Man. We'll see you guys next week.